Tonight we got our hands on a recording of a phone crook at work pretending to be from the IRS trying to collect money. It is the scam that we warned you about last night. Our story hit home for a Granville couple. They sat down today with 24 Hour News 8's Henry Herb so we can learn what it's like to get one of those calls. Crooks could have been anywhere in the world, but they reached into Jim and Judy Eddy's home through their phone. They left a message for the Eddies. They still have it. This is Caroline Mello with the Department of Legal Affairs at U.S. Treasury. It's just the kind of call the U.S. Attorney and the IRS warned people about yesterday. The crooks pretend to be from the government. They claim you owe money. Delaying calling us might end up into a legal mess for you. That was the second call. The first one was even scarier. And he said he was with the IRS and had a warrant for my arrest. Not only did the callers want money, they were trying to steal the Eddie's identity. And the first thing he said, I need you to confirm your um, social security number. And I said, I never give my social security number out to anybody. The Eddie's saw it as a scam right away. No way they were buying the threats. He said, well, I, you do what you want. I, I'm not going to not going to deal with you. The bad guy's phone number traces back to the Toledo area, but it could have come from anywhere. Phone crooks often use fake numbers. Of course, we wanted to talk to the scammers and tried to call that number today. We're sorry. The party you have dialed is not accepting calls at this time. The Eddies told the crooks to get lost, but they say they can understand how the callers can scare people into giving up their cash. I'm thinking as a single woman, if I was here by myself, he wasn't here, and my daughter wasn't handling all our affairs, you know, I might say, okay, what do you need? I'll just send it to you so I can, we can be done with this. I don't want to go any further. And I can see some people doing that, especially older people, especially older women. That scares me. When somebody calls and threatens to arrest you, it does, it does tend to, to get your attention. The phone crooks usually demand payment right away using a debit card. The IRS says that's how you know they're the crooks and not the real IRS, because real IRS agents never do that. In Granville, Henry Herb, 24-Hour News 8.